Between the LifeProof Nude and the Griffin Survivor Catalyst, the Nude score is better. But if you're looking for a vacationing case by, a, you know, the ocean or a lake, definitely grab this one because it comes with a wrist strap. It is incredibly waterproof, up to nine feet, and it has a waterproof headphone jack. The Nude is just good everyday protection against drops and, you know, the occasional spill. Real usage, real reviews. MobileReviewsA.ca Hey. It's Aaron from MobileReviewsA.ca and today we're going to do a comparison test between the LifeProof Nude and the Griffin Survivor Plus Catalyst. Longest name ever. Maybe not ever, but it's a pretty long name. So both of these cases are waterproof and they're droppable. They are waterproof. The Catalyst, Survivor Plus Catalyst, is waterproof up to a, uh, 9 feet and the LifeProof Nude is waterproof up to 6 feet. And both of them are droppable from, I believe, 6 feet as well. Now, at Mobile Reviews, we base our reviews on actual usage. So we've spent several weeks with both of these cases, and we've done drop tests for them. We've done water tests for them. I think for the nude, we actually drove a drone into it to try to make it a little more different. This one, we tossed it into a river, and, well, the phone survived. Now, with all that being said, we gave the Griffin Survivor Plus Catalyst a score 3.8 A's and the nude 4.1 A's out of 5. Now, you must be thinking, hey, Nude's better than the Griffin Survivor Plus Catalyst. Well, it's not in one circumstance, and out of all the cases, this is the only case that will say this to, is that if you're going snorkeling or whatnot, and you want to use your phone as a, you know, video recorder or a picture taker, or a camera actually, definitely go with the Griffin Plus Survivor Catalyst. It comes with a wrist strap, as well as a headphone add-on, so that you can have, if you have waterproof headphones, you can use them. And it's also waterproof up to nine feet, which is the deepest out of all these uh, kind of normal sized uh, rugged cases. In terms of weight and bulk, both these cases weigh about the same. The Griffin Survivor Plus Catalyst is a little thicker and you definitely do feel the bulk. It does feel a lot bulkier than the LifeProof Nude. In terms of the insulation of these cases, they're actually quite simple. You pop off all the latches for the Griffin Survivor Plus Catalyst and then you just pull them out and you just shove your phone into it. With the LifeProof Nude, again, you pop a latch and then they say to use a coin, but you can easily pull it apart with your finger and then you toss your phone into the case as well. So both these cases allow for easy installation and uninstallation of your phone from the case. Now in terms of the build quality of the case, the Griffin Survivor Catalyst suffers quite a bit actually. It's made out of this uh, clear polycarbonate and it it's basically a magnet for scratches and bumps and nicks. And so from our drop test and whatnot, it, you can definitely see the damage on the case. Now, you know, after a thousand or so drops, you might actually get through the entire case. But again, over time, unless you're one of those people who like to wear all their scratches and bumps as a badge of honor, this might not be the best case. On the other hand, the nude actually handles bumps and scratches very well. So the back is kind of this hard plastic and out of all the life proof cases that we've used, most of the backings aren't that scuffed up despite the fact that we drop them on, you know, parking lots and sidewalks and whatnot. The front has a rubber bumper and so it provides a good level of grippability. In terms of drop protection, as I mentioned, the drops really damage the case and so it, we kind of dinged a couple of marks uh, for that fact. The life proof nude is very, very droppable. Again, we drove it we drove a drone into this case and everything is still fine. We still got two phones. Actually, the drop test for both of these cases passed for them. So they're very droppable. In terms of water protection, both of them are very waterproof. We've done a uh, full test for both of them. We've done dishes with the nude and we've actually tossed the Griffin Survivor Catalyst into the river with an actual device and they both are waterproof. In terms of the screen protection, now there's a caveat because the LifeProof Nude actually doesn't have a screen protector built in. So it's one of those cases and it's the selling feature of the Nude is that you don't have a screen protector. Now, they do include an optional screen protector that you can install. The screen protector is actually one of the nicest screen protectors that we've come across, the insulation ones. And so it doesn't offer a lot of glare and it's very, very thick and it doesn't diffuse any of the retina screens. So feels like it would protect your screen very well. Now, on the other hand, the Griffin Survivor Plus Catalyst has a very, it feels very thin, right? It, it's pulled across very tight and it still does protect the screen. We did drop it face first onto some rocks and it definitely worked. But again, both these cases have screen protectors and they will generally do a good job of protecting your screen from, you know, accidental drops, not trying to shove a nail through your phone. That'd be stupid.
In terms of functionality, Griffin Survivor Plus Catalyst suffers quite a bit. When, you, when we talk about functionality, we're talking about being able to access your phone through the case. And one of the caveats in, in the installation of, the, of this case is that they ask you to normalize the pressure between the inside of the case and the outside of the case. It's not waterproof, apparently. Now, if you don't do that and you get a phone call, well, it's very hard to hear the person on the other end as well as they won't be able to hear you talk well. Now, even after you uh, normalize the pressure inside the case and the atmosphere, I still found myself undoing all the latches every single time I received a phone call. So the functionality between the Nude and the Griffin Survivor is, we knocked this down quite a bit. In terms of the screen usability, the Griffin Survivor has a, the screen protector extends past the top part of the phone, which is nice. So if you're doing the daily summary in iOS 7, you can easily access all those features. Now at the bottom, there is this hard plastic piece that covers um, the areas right beside the home button or the touch ID button. And so on some cases, actually like the nude, getting to the edge of the phone is quite difficult. So your QMP on your digital keyboard is hard to get to as well as the swipe menus from the uh, command center as well as the daily summary. So be wary when you're using the nude is that you won't be able to access the edges of your screen as well. Now with the Griffin Survivor, it's on such an angle that you can easily get to the, well, not easily, but you can generally get to the iOS 7 command center. In terms of the viewability, the glare on the Survivor Catalyst is pretty bad. So you can have a direct, you know, source of light on it and then you put the screen protector on and then it just blows it all out. So the screen, the glare on this uh, case is pretty bad. Now with the screen protector, glare isn't much of a problem, no more than what you would have with a normal device. You take the screen protector off, well, that's one of the selling features of the new. It's got no screen protector, so there is technically no additional glare. Now, the final thing between these two cases is that the Griffin Survivor Catalyst comes with a wrist strap as well as a waterproof headphone jack. And so that makes it very viable for water sports and whatnot. So if you're a person who does a lot of vacationing out, you know, at, by a lake or by an ocean, this is a very good case considering that I'm assuming you're not going to be taking a lot of phone calls. So you can easily access all the buttons and whatnot. You have a wrist strap, you've got a waterproof plug. And so you're basically set to do all the running along beaches and shorelines as you want, or even do take them out for a little bit of snorkeling. Again, we rate the nude higher than the catalyst. If you have any questions about these cases, leave them in the comments section below. I'm Aaron the Ho. I'm a reviewer at mobilereviews.ca. And again, ask us any questions. You could do it on Google+, Twitter, Facebook. Send us an email. Uh, we'll try to get back to you as soon as we possibly can. If this comparison video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody who is looking for some water and droppable cases, please uh, send this to them. That would greatly help us out. Check our website. We've got full blog entries for these cases as well. And thanks for watching.